The world's biggest vaccine drive is currently underway. As countries strive to build herd immunity to the coronavirus, they're stepping up their inoculation efforts. As of March 2021, nine leading vaccines are being used against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Billions of people are waiting their turn to get vaccinated, while hundreds of millions of doses have already been shipped. But what are these vaccines actually made of? All of the COVID-19 vaccines being used contain a so-called active ingredient. It's the ingredient in a pharmaceutical drug that is biologically active. Coronavirus vaccines contain three main active ingredients. mRNA, which is used in the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines. A viral vector, which is used in Oxford, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. And inactivated virus, which is used in Sinovac Biotech. mRNA, or messenger ribonucleic acid, is the genetic material that teaches the body how to make proteins. A viral vector is a modified version of a harmless virus, or the vector, that delivers important instructions to our cells. An inactivated virus is one that's been grown in a lab, then killed to destroy its ability to cause illness. All active ingredients have the same goal, to trigger our immune systems to make antibodies that fight against the coronavirus in our bodies. We often get asked, can you get COVID-19 from the vaccine? As I just told you, the vaccine is a small component of the virus. It's not the virus itself. So it is impossible to get COVID-19 from the vaccine. Secondly, does it get into my DNA? It is biologically impossible for that to happen. Besides minute amounts of the active ingredient, water is the main ingredient that makes up the vaccine solution. All vaccines also contain different types of salt. One example would be sodium chloride or table salt. The Sinovac vaccine uses an inorganic salt called aluminium hydroxide. It's a common vaccine ingredient used to trigger a stronger immune response in the body. Salts help to maintain the vaccine's pH levels, or acidity, and keep it similar to that of the human body. The mRNA vaccines contain different types of lipids or fats. These fats are synthesized in order to move the mRNA into the cells. Sugars, amino acids and ethanol work as stabilizers. They preserve the vaccine's effectiveness over time and during temperature changes. For the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines, which need to be kept at sub-zero temperatures, sugars help stabilize the vaccines in the extreme cold. Lastly, are substances that keep components in the vaccine soluble, such as polysorbate 80, which is commonly used in foods like ice cream. The vaccines have faced religious hurdles, including in Muslim populations that follow halal rules on food preparation. Pork gelatin, which is not halal or permissible under Islam, is commonly used in vaccines to ensure stability during storage and transport. Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, Oxford-AstraZeneca and Sinovac have all said their coronavirus vaccine do not contain pork-derived ingredients. Johnson & Johnson has yet to say whether its vaccine is free of animal derivatives. Several predominantly Muslim countries like Malaysia and the United Arab Emirates have ruled that all coronavirus vaccines are permissible, even if they contain non-halal ingredients. But while Indonesia's top Islamic body has given the green light to the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, only Sinovac to date has been deemed holy and halal. Ini penting sekali karena mayoritas masyarakat Indonesia adalah Muslim dan halal itu adalah ajaran Islam yang memang uh, wajib dikerjakan begitu bahwa semua, semua produk itu harus uh, kalau sorry uh, setiap Muslim itu harus mengkonsumsi produk yang halal dan menghindari yang haram dan ini tentunya ber, uh, berlaku tidak hanya untuk makanan minuman tetapi juga termasuk untuk obat-obat. Meanwhile, some Christians, notably Catholics, have moral concerns over the vaccine's links to abortion. 
cells used to make some of the COVID-19 vaccines are lab-grown reproductions of original fetal cells taken from two abortions carried out in the 1970s and the 1980s. Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson used fetal cell lines to develop their vaccines, but the actual doses do not contain any fetal cells. The Vatican has since ruled on the issue, saying, it is morally acceptable to receive COVID-19 vaccines that have used cell lines from aborted fetuses in their research and production process. Some vegans have also raised concerns about the vaccines. While some were tested on animals, none of the vaccines contain animal-derived ingredients, including eggs. As vaccine makers race to increase supply, there appears to be sufficient amounts of the ingredients needed to produce the jabs. One that may be in short supply, though, is the lipids needed to make the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines. Nevertheless, leading vaccine manufacturers continue scaling up production in a race to produce enough shots to beat the global pandemic.